And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Victor Poros. This one's going to be a lot of fun. This is similar to the Poro Give It All deck that we played in the last seasonal tournament. But we're going to be adding in Victor and some of the new Augment cards um, in this deck and uh, playing it here on Meme Tier Monday. So we have Ballistic Bot. Um, that's going to be very important creating an ignition every single turn so that gives us a created spell every turn for our augment units and we're going to have that and nandroid um, to go along with victor our other we also have a one of mechanized mimic they can get a whole bunch of keywords and also have augment the augment cards are important because they can grow in power and having large uh, large powerful things is important for give it all now, Victor can also get a whole bunch of keywords with having the Hexcore upgrade. That's going to be really important with Give It All. Plus, our just our Poros. Lonely Poro, we're going to make some Poros with random keywords. Um, and Patch Poro Bot can get some different keywords. So we can get we can get a whole bunch of keywords with those for our, uh, for our Give It All. Elusive is usually the most important of the keywords. And we're going to have Elusive with Daring Poro and um, Nandroid. Those will both already have Elusive plus Poro Cannon. Uh, we'll make some more Daring Poros for Elusive. Poro Cannon is also important how it creates the two Daring Poros because those are going to be created cards. So those will buff up our augmented things because they'll be created. The Lonely Poro creates a Poro. So that's another created card. So we can get some extra created cards for our augment. Um, and then, of course, you have Aurora Porealis, which is awesome with your Poros. Plus it again, those are all created cards. So those are all very good for all these augment things. So it should be pretty cool. That's that's what our deck is. You know, we got a little bit of removal in here with Thermogenic Beam, Aftershock, as well, some protection with some Troll Chant. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna have some synergy with Victor and Poros. Let's go play five games. Spooky Ezreal. So I'm gonna keep, we'll keep one Thermogenic Beam to kill Ezreal, maybe not. No, maybe actually we just don't keep Thermogenic Beam. No, we probably should. The thing is they just, they're good at returning their Ezreal after their Ezreal dies. Like they want their Ezreal to die. Uh, no, I'll get rid of those. I'm definitely getting rid of the 1-1 one -one against this deck because they're gonna have cards like go hard. And, like they're gonna be great at dealing one damage. You know, Static Shock, go hard, um, Vile Feast, Unspeakable Horror. The one ones are not very valuable. One something that we do want. Ooh, I love tough. Tough is a great keyword. Something that we do want is Poro Snacks to keep all those one ones from being one ones. There we go. There's Poro Snacks. I could see them playing Hexcore Foundry. Don't blink. Or you miss me. I was gonna say I could see Aftershock being good against Hexcore Foundry. Okay, so yeah, their their Poro bot's gonna change keywords. It's not just always gonna be tough. That one has spell shield. Cool, created Daring Poro. And basically I wanted Nandroid to be protected with Troll Chant because of their ability to do have three damage spells also. Both last turn and this turn, I I had four mana, so I couldn't play Nandroid and protect Nandroid with Troll Chant. Which I wanted to do that. So our little lonely Poro took two of their cards and also gave me another card. That's pretty good. What do they have? Challenger? Just play this for now. Or just attack here. Exalt me like the god I am! Now! Ouch. 
Alright, I'm gonna let that happen. So I'm gonna save mana and have Aurora Porealis and, and everything. Okay, good. I think we're both back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that's only nine cards. It's not exactly legal, but it is oh no, exactly Funsmith? Awesome. We're a Funsmith neck deck now? Funsmith gotta go. <laughs> that card's gotta go. Scuttlers? Why? Why scrap scuttler? First day on the job. The gun's real. Wait, wouldn't you want to play that first and then scrap scuttler? Get a fleeting card? So I want to make it difficult to kill all of my poros. And that would mean Oh wait, that one wasn't a created one. Oh, don't tell me they found another another go hard. Are we saving Troll Champ for Victor? That's fine. Because they're down to just two cards left. Join the glorious evolution. Yes, of course. But yeah, so it was good that I played the one that was not created, so I can play the ones that are created. For Victor. Hex core upgrade, what do we get? Scout? Fearsome. No. Alright, so I could I could save Victor. Or I can just play new Victor. Maybe we'll just play new Victor. I was kind of thinking Ruination maybe more than that Packer Bags. I'd rather kill that than Victor. Aurora Porealis is like our best draw stab. We can find that. Good. That's good, I'm drawing more go-hards. Because that doesn't kill anything right now. Regen, or lifesteal. Okay, cool. Because I was going to say, we're going to have regen from Rom. No. Perfection, 
This would make them all 5 power elusives, which would be 20 damage. And there we go, GG's. Witness perfection. Bags of meat. Will I win? Ooh, their, their deck's gonna be tough. Ha, with the Scar Grounds. Okay, Aftershock, good. Give it all, also good. I think I'm gonna mulligan the give it all. But like, the thing is, like, we're gonna want to play give it all to have give everything elusive. I'm gonna just keep it. We're just gonna really want that card to give everything elusive. Lonely Poro probably could have gone. I probably didn't need to keep Lonely Poro, but I was thinking. I was thinking Lonely Poro makes a created card. Created card good for these things. Fight or die. Witness perfection. The problem with playing the Lonely Poro, though, is I don't have turn 3 Aftershock if they have turn 3 Scar Grounds. But if they go turn 3 Scar Grounds, I can go turn, you know, I'll have priority first and go turn 4. Okay. Rom. Safety uh, Poro Snacks would have been a great draw. That saves. We take four or we take six. It saves two life to block with that thing. Might as well not block with that thing. Mm. I was gonna say that, you know, like the, that thing's only taking the two damage, but. All right, so now we'll have Aftershock kill Brom. Probably a necessity. Oh, Death Lotus. Rough. Rough. I learned my scars. Mm. Oh wait, I just didn't cast this. That was like my whole plan was to cast this Aurora Poreal, so I just didn't cast it, did I? I just passed turn. What am I doing? Hello, my darling. Well that that card's also devastating. Man, great. Great hand for them. Yeah, that's a great hand. Poro Snacks, he would have done so much work for us. Uh, yeah, why did, why did I not just cast that? I don't know. I should have gone for Aurora Porealis instead of Aftershock. Should have just let them keep Braum alive.
I mean, that's the best blocking I can do. If I would have just cast the Aurora Poros last turn, I would have been able to play another Poros Snacks, but it wouldn't have helped me with this. The Death Lotus got me pretty good. Okay, so Zoe, you know, like they're they're like the you know, like the Freljord ramp deck, but with Zoe. Definitely keep keeping aftershock. We're gonna mulligan those. Daring Poro basically just blocks Zoe. We have a bunch of Daring Poros in our deck. Let's actually just mulligan that too. Good. I'm, I'm glad we mulligan that. So we want to find you know like Ballistic Bot, um, Victor. That's great. All right, not planning on playing anything on turn two. I guess we could play Lonely Poor on turn two. Yeah, if they avalanche it away, that's kind of whatever. I'll wait on the Spell Shield one for, you know, I'll wait on the created one for some of these other augment cards to be in play. I should have passed right here. I'm sorry, I was kind of talking. I forgot that we're playing against Catalyst of Aeon deck. I should have passed. I should not have attacked. That's what I would normally do. That's what I wanted to do. That should have been a pass. Up there in the mountains. Flame is a weakness we must shed. What do you know of shedding? <laughs> Ingenious. Yep, that should have been a pass. A oh, Tali Z says, oof, a rough Monday so far. I didn't even think about that. I don't know. Like, we haven't, like... This deck's good, but the, the previous two decks we were playing weren't, like, weren't decks that I was expecting to win with. You know, it's mean tier Monday. It's not about wins and losses. I don't know, I was still just kind of worried about Avalanche, as far as the Braum goes. The trolls are going to war! You'll find me a formidable and we're going to be trying to use Give It All next turn. No materials, no improvements. Okay, we'll have two spell shields. That's pretty good. Or zero spell shields. <laughs> One of the two. It is easy, see? So I assume Victor could get spell shield again. Their treats will be I assume spell shield. That, that could be something they could, could get twice in a row. Uh, Challenger. That's too bad. We already had Challenger. Didn't need Challenger. Alright, so there'll be 6 5 elusive regen challengers with Overwhelm. Oh, and Augment. Right. Augment travels over. go. Alright, GG's. Give it all Victor Poros. Ah, yes. 
Oh no. Oh no. Back to a Grand Plaza deck. I don't like Grand Plaza. So Victor and Braum do take up the same spot on the curve. Let's keep one and get rid of the other. We can keep them both. We can play one on turn four, one on turn five, I suppose. Okay, great. Aftershock deals with Grand Plaza. I wanted to see that. Then Ballistic Bot's good. Okay, this ended up being a pretty good hand. Doesn't mean that we may not just get ran over, but ended up being a pretty good hand. Can't really stop like that plus single combat, which it looks like that's what they had. Yeah, the 36 plus single combat. Good, good. The ballistic bot, I think, is going to be a stronger card. I like the ballistic bot more, so I'm glad they used it there. I need a pass. I don't really don't want them to play the Grand Plaza. Okay, so we just gained two mana on them there. My heart and sword. Join the glorious evolution. The flashbacks will bow, Frank Baker. Safety disengaged. Rise, metal brethren. All right, gonna save our three spell mana. Export upgrade. What we got? Fury. One of the worst keywords. Maybe the worst. They are just passing. Still leaves me with aftershock mana. That's the card that just drew. Draw a landmark. No. I don't have my ability to destroy the landmark. Shouldn't have played that ignition. No. GG's, I just get a free kill on Victor, you know, plus, you know, I used the, the cards to trade there, but because I couldn't kill it right there, they get the free kill on Victor. I shouldn't have played the ignition, I guess. Man, that's rough. That's really rough. Devotion through battle! Because we know they're going to be playing, like, sharp sights and everything like that. If I do this and they just go sharp sight, sharp sight, or you know, like pill cascade, sharp sight. The problem is I can't not block if they have two sharp sights, I die. Yeah, this is just super unfortunate. And Grand Plaza decks are lame. Play Grand Plaza and Hush in the same deck. That's a lot of fun. Let us get going. Many things 
but flying borrow? Stay resolute. My shield is my soul. Listen, me friends. Flame. Of course, we are still friends. No, Trundle would be much worse than Braum here. No, I'm. We're playing Braum. Braum's very good with the Poros. It's very good defense. I like it a lot. So Lonely Poros definitely gone. These all have a good amount of health. You know, like they don't die to go hard. So we're gonna keep all these. The thing is, I guess, okay, I should be so flippant. Humanity is obsolete. Having Victor does make Braum worse because they are on the same part of the curve. You know, when you had Vi, Braum works perfect with Vi. But I guess with Victor, maybe maybe then you want Trundle because then the, the four and the five. Because I didn't really think about it immediately, but the, ooh, I do like Toph. The Ice Pillar that Trundle creates is also very good with Give It All. Being able to play it and then Give It All in the same turn is really nice. Be nothing left when I'm done. Kept the mana for Troll Chant instead of playing Ignition. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Soak it in. Join the glorious evolution. The flashbacks will bow, break maker. Maybe. Yeah, maybe maybe put maybe you go back and put Vi in this deck instead of Braum. With Vi being able to remove champions and everything and be be a very good removal spell. There's potential for that, I suppose. You know, like, a, a Vi here is probably better than a Braum. Suppose you want in on this. I suppose I should leave you be. Which was a fate at 2 out of 8. Let us get going. I think we can wait a turn for Aftershock. cast this ignition so much for me thinking that I could wait a turn and not have to cast aftershock right now with that twisted fate so much for that well all I gotta do is play spray fin then it's leveled up it's fortune croaker same thing Looks like I'm on a hot streak. No 2 3 attack? No, definitely not. What? Like the 2 3 tough? Two th no, like I. I want to keep these things alive. I want to. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't like just trading with like these little. These little things with like a bunch of damage and stuff. I don't. They are a ruination deck though. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So they got 9 cards in hand. I thought I thought at first you meant like this thing, this thing that was the two three attack. Definitely wouldn't want to cast, but it, the tough wouldn't have been the worst to attack with. Prime 
Alright, more core upgrades. Spell shield. Quick attack. So I could always discard the ignition to the Poro Cannon if I want, but I'm keeping Troll Chant available always. Okay. I don't want to throw out everything with Ruination being a card, but we kind of do have everything out there anyway. Alright, we'll definitely discord the Hex Core upgrade now. And they could have easily, you know, done different blocking. They could have done different blocking to set up Ruination, so... Not expecting Ruination now. Did they just draw it? Okay, no, that was just a go hard. There's not really room for iterative improvements. I don't know what it, what would you play it over? You know, you can only play the 40 cards. I should have played that other Daring Poro. Where was I? Should not have played that other Daring Poro. Always on the run. Or an Android. You know, like, I didn't need to play those cards. draw would have been a little bit better last turn putting them down to two but I'll There's still take it so they probably have glimpse beyond in hand right if they they didn't cast go hard before Hard deck's very difficult to play against. It's yeah, you know, I played into Ruination, but it's the kind of thing that you can't you can't really like sit back and not play into Ruination when they have a leveled up Twisted Fate, and you know they're always threatening go hard at any you know at any time. With your pack your bags, it's not like you can sit back forever because pack your bags.
So that's all three Withering Whales gone. Yeah, I mean, I guess I guess I should be trading with these before they find Pack Your Bags that just kills my uh, Poros anyway. We need Aurora Borealis. That's what we need this whole time. Get us a bunch of cards. Two more Poros, two more Poro snacks. Yep, that's what they hit with their spray pen was that glimpse beyond. So that's their third glimpse beyond. So they are they're out of that. So that's probably just only um, pack your bags for whenever they find that. And there they go. Well, I wish we would have played around Ruination a little bit better. No sense not to attack with the other things. It's actual no sense. <laughs> Two fearsomes wouldn't have done it. Remember, it doesn't gain any power. It would have been a three power fearsome. Play the. I guess we play on both. Face. This? Yeah, that, that's a good one, Monkey Cap. I actually have a donation deck for that already. Um, Targon's Peak plus Zephyr Sage. Yeah, we got a, a donation deck for that already, actually. That's a good meme tier one. They of course already know about that car, that's not surprising them or anything. They have nothing in hand but one mana one twos. I suppose this theoretically could work. Theoretically, it could work. No. Okay, so we ended up going two and three with the Victor Poros. It definitely felt like our deck was missing something, and, and maybe that is. Maybe maybe Braum needs to be a better champion. You know, like I I kind of dismissed that at first, but thinking about it more, um, I think that that was probably the weak part of our deck. And, you know, it doesn't really, you know, it fits in the same spot as Victor. It would probably be more powerful to play a Trundle or a Vi instead. Um, yeah, and I, I think I would probably play Vi. Like, I, I've been very happy with Vi in this deck. Um, I think that's what I would do, is I would I'd replace Trundle with Vi, where you have a challenger that can be removal. It's more difficult to kill with the tough. Um, yeah, I think I think that could that could work well. And then, of course, it has the, a lot of power and everything like that. Um, besides that, it did seem like we're missing something else a little bit. The, the Nandroid didn't play that well. It was, you know, like, real slow... I'm not sure besides that. Maybe 
maybe Nandroid needs to go back and be Mighty Poro. Or Mighty Poro can grow with the Poro snacks. And maybe something that can block earlier, easy, you know, better than like the one, you know, the Nandroid coming down as the 1-3 immediately. Um, yeah, maybe just a couple, yeah, maybe a couple Frostbite cards. That could be it too. A little bit of Frostbite, you know, between Flash Freeze, Harsh Winds, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, like there's no Mystic Shots in here. I don't, I don't know if Mystic Shot was really what we were missing. Which there's a better way to keep, you know, keep like your Victor alive if they cast Vengeance. We can't stop that at all. You know, like we couldn't, because yeah, we couldn't really stop Challengers. And that's the thing with with these Demacia decks these days. Maybe maybe you need a little bit of Frostbite cards to try to try to stop Challengers to protect Victor that way because we can't really protect Victor from Vengeance. Gohard, honestly, like yeah, he said Mystic Shot help against Gohard. I mean, I I think Gohard's actually a pretty good matchup for us. I always did pretty well with the, the Poros before and, and this deck. I think you do pretty good against Gohard overall. I I just walked into the Ruination and they did have the Ruination. Um, you know, like that, that's what got me that that game was just that ruination. You know, like I, if I play around that ruination better, I think we could have won that game. Um, but I, I walked into it. I'd be more worried about challengers and the Demacia landmark, um, what to do against that kind of, you know, like when they have challenge, like the, especially the deck with challengers and hush, hush is just fantastic against these kind of decks too. So when they have, and sharp sight like that, that deck. Targon, Demacia, Hush, Sharp Sight, you know, Pale Cascade, Single Combat, all that kind of stuff. That just seems like a nightmare. But we did see Braum, you know, Braum was really weak to Single Combat and a lot of those other spells like that. So yeah, I think I think Vi could could be better than Braum. Um, as far as like where to fit in, you know, Flash Freeze, Harsh Winds into this kind of deck. Um, I'm not that big on a Thermogenic Beam. And like I said, the Nandroid didn't perform that well, um, so I could see I could see trimming like a, a one Nandroid, one Thermogenic Beam, and then getting in, you know, like a Flash Freeze and a Harsh Winds if you want like one of each. The Mecha Mechanized Mimic is also just a, a flex slot, um, so that could be so maybe like one Harsh Winds, one Flash Freeze, or maybe even two Flash Freeze. All right, maybe just keep a second thermogenic beam. So maybe just do that. Maybe just take out take out a nandroid and the, the mimic and get a flash freeze and a harsh winds in here. Because yeah, I think that the frostbite uh, could just give you some interaction in combat. That's that's what our deck's missing is interaction in combat. Um, and so maybe I just want two flash freeze and not play the thermogenic beam. I don't know, but yeah, that's that's what we need. You know, like during combat when they're playing combat tricks, we had no no way to interact during combat. Besides, I guess we had troll chant. That was our one way, but didn't help enough all right there we go that's victor poros those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course as always leave those comments let me know what you think of the poros and augment and all of that got any ideas i would love to hear it there in the comment section all right but thank you so much for watching though i really appreciate that and i'll see you for the next video